when it comes to plants, only half the growing process takes place above the ground. Here's SunUp's Austin Moore with a way to make sure your plants have plenty of room to grow below the ground as well. Soil matters. This is where plants get nutrients and water, but the availability of those key elements depends largely on soil structure. Usually we have about 40 or 50 percent of the soil volume, which is just air, and is where actually most of the processes, the physical chemical process, take part uh, in this, actually in the airspace. It's like a house where most of the action happens in the rooms rather than in the walls. Andres Patrignani is a graduate student at Oklahoma State University from Argentina. He offered to show us how a producer might go into the field and examine soil structure using a worksheet available on our website. It all starts by digging up a block of soil with a simple garden spade. And I actually had to, to measure the, the length. So I have a ruler here, uh, and this is uh, in the protocol. This is about 20, 20 centimeters, which is a little bit less than 10 inches. And then what we had to do is to try to detect several uh, layers. In this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, to break it a little bit to see if I can find two different layers or just one. So it seems that there is a kind of a loose layer in the top due to tillage. Patrick Nani will then examine each layer individually. Now we start looking for some of the characteristics of the protocol, such as porosity, uh, roots through the, through the aggregates, or if the roots are clustered around the aggregates, that means that the roots cannot pass through the aggregates because maybe it's too hard or maybe uh, because the, uh, there are not enough pores for the roots to, to pass through the aggregate. So that is actually something we don't want. We want the root system to explore as much as it can. Once aggregates, or clumps, are broken down into roughly one centimeter pieces, you can follow the chart on the protocol and begin to classify that layer of soil. There are some roots here, but just not too many since uh, this is fallow now. So there are some here, very small. So I'm gonna call it at, at three, which is actually what usually happens in, uh, in agricultural land. Uh, most of agricultural land is about three or four. Uh, we rarely see a class two, unless maybe it has been in no-till for maybe 20 or 30 years. Then Patrick Nani moves on to the second layer. And I can see it's very, very hard. This is probably a, a hard pan due to a tillage. It's about uh, five to six inches from the top, which is usually where we pass the, the disc. And so this is hard. I see no pores. It's firm, I, can, I cannot, it doesn't crumble in my hand. I had to actually put some strength and, and, and some force and break it. Um, so here we are about uh, probably a compact soil with few macropores. And actually, if I look my picture in the protocol, it's helping me to detect that this is a similar soil than uh, classification four, that's core number four. Also, the, the blocks are kind of angular. See those uh, very angular shapes and every time I, I try to break they don't they don't crumble they just have sharp edges no macropores at all in the entire block so this is something very very typical of a conventional till field where we don't have a very much a porosity compared to a no till where uh, we will likely find a lot of a uh, pore space at least in the very thin layer which we didn't find here uh, it, the soil looks uh, much looser maybe than, uh, than a no-till soil at, in the very top, but after one or two rains, then uh, we have a very thick crust on, on top of the field, something that we don't have, for, for example, in a no-till field. Once you have classified each layer of soil, a formula on the worksheet will combine these for an overall soil structure grade between one, which is ideal, and five, which is not. This field scored a 3.8, the average for conventional soil in Patrick Nani's research. The question is, what do we do now? And with this information, we have to start uh, taking some uh, new management decisions to try to increase the soil structure uh, because it might be limiting our crop production. So the point is that it takes time and it takes decision to do that. 
but certainly improving the soil structure of the soil will help us to improve and to rise our uh, weed yields mainly. If you would like to take a look at the protocol Patrick Nani is using and to print your own copy, visit our website, sunup.okstate.edu, and click on Show Links. <laughs>